Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to use uh, graphic organizers to write a summary about the water cycle. And the, the graphic organizer that we're going to use is called a sequence map. Can you read the objective with me, please? Do it! Do it! Do it! What did you do with it? What did you do with it? You used it to oh, what? We compared and to compare and contrast how they were like and how were they different. We also used the bubble map. We just recently used oh, the bubble map. What did we use the, the bubble map for, Renee? We used the bubble map for the uh, blueberry. And what, did, what, did, what was that whole idea? What was the purpose of using the bubble map? For the system. To learn, to write um, descriptive words and descriptions of how the, the berry travels through the digestive system. Very good. So today we're going to use the sequence map, the sequence map, to um, outline the water cycle so we can write in a summary. Okay, here's the graphic organizers. You guys have one already. And who can give me a good introduction? Let's try Andrea, Mora, go give it to me, please. A good introduction could be there are, there are several paths for the water cycle. There are several? Paths for the water cycle. The paths include Hold on. The paths include what? Evaporation. You can write it down, guys. The paths include evaporation. Condensation. Hold on. Condensation. And precipitation. And precipitation, right? So go, um, go ahead and write it down, boys and girls, and we'll move on to the second one. This is your intro paragraph. Please, Maya, please stop. This is your intro paragraph. So um, boxes one, two, and three will, is going to be part of your middle paragraph, okay? Middle. One, two, three. Yes. So what is the first step of the water cycle? Hold on. I'll, let me pick, my, pick volunteers. Um, Zachary, first step of the water cycle. Um, Send and deliver, please. The first? I know. The first? Go ahead, Zachary. The first? The first part of uh, the water cycle is evaporation. Very good. Do you know, can you tell me a little bit of evaporation? Evaporation is when uh, the sun picks up water. And we call that what? Vapor, right? Vapor. Sun picks up, up water, a water and turns it into uh, air. and converts it into air. Evaporation. It into vapor. Good job. Yeah. Second. Thank you, Zachary. Excellent job. Um, next step. Next step is what? Let's see. Jesus. Ooh. Go ahead, Jesus. Second step is what? Second step is to. You have help right here. We talked about it when you were reading. What is this called? Condensation. You said condensation. All right. Can somebody help Jesus and explain to me what condensation is so we can write it down? Go ahead, Eric. What is condensation? And so there is a different, it converts it into, okay, air cools, okay, go ahead and read it off your book. And the air cools on what? The air cools on what? The air cools and... The air cools and some of the water vapor. Good. Some of the water vapor, good job. Turn. Into what? Liquid. Good job. All right, my third process of the water cycle would be, let's see, um, Diego. The third process of the water cycle is the water 
Precipitation. Precipitation. Can you tell me a little bit what happens in precip precipitation? Something that happens in precipitation is water that falls over. Now. Water falls over land. And it's equal to what? Rain. Good job. Um, say, reserve your questions for later. Okay, conclusion. For a conclusion um, portion of our paragraph, remember you have to come back and talk about your intro. So what would be a good conclusion? Let's see. Nathan, what would be a good conclusion? Or we, we want me to come back to you? Come back to you. Go ahead, Noah. Uh, maybe you could put, those are several paths of the So what, what are they, though? What? Uh, that, that, you start with the start? Evaporation. evaporation. Yeah. Precipitation and the other one. Go slower. Evaporation. Is it precipitation? No, condensation. And then it's precipitation. Yeah. And? Precipitation. Yeah. Are all the paths of the water cycle? Are all the paths of the water cycle? Okay, what is another thing that I can add to my, uh, to the, 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 the conclusion? Does water cycle only happen in water? No. no. Go, ahead, go ahead, um, both of you, you may go to the restroom. Okay, uh, let's see, go ahead, Diego, tell me. Water does not only, um, happen? Water does not only happen in the ocean, it, it can also happen in air. It can also happen in land and in plants. Very good. So that, I'm going to write in notes. It can happen in plants. So you guys can write in your conclusion. Plants, um, land. And, um. What else? Air. And it can, yeah, air. Good. All right. So that is the, that is, the, you're going to use your graphic organizer, your sequence map, to write a summary. I will, I have your captain pass out the paper in a second. So make sure you have all of this in your notes. And um, we'll come back to it because um, we're taking a little bit too long to write. We'll come back and, and write it. Let's move on to the second. Uh, okay, here's a check off list for your summary. Your summary should include a beginning, intro, steps of the water cycle, which you have it already down in your sequence map right here. In your middle paragraph is a description of the process of the water cycle. And remember how it is evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Explain that in your middle paragraph. And for your conclusion, and see I check off this right there, evaporation, condensation, precipitation. And then for your conclusion, we kind of wrote a little bit down, but you guys can add more detail to it, right? And ask yourself the question for your conclusion, does the water always, does the water cycle always incur in water? And you kind of answer that question, right? Good job, guys. So um, I'm going to pass out the paper and then you can start, start on your summary. Okay, Remy, you can stop it, honey. All right.